Hey there. Welcome to your own personal deep dive. We're going to dig into luxury retail today, see what's really going on. You wanted to know how those big names, those iconic brands, are keeping up right, how they're bringing those classic luxury vibes into this whole new world of shoppers. And the article we've got from Multimedia Plus, let me tell you, it gets right into it. This whole clash between old school luxury and, well, what's hot now? Because think about it. Luxury shopping used to be a whole different ball game, didn't it? It really was. Those flagship stores, all marble and whispers. Yeah, you felt special just walking in the door like you were in on something exclusive. It was an experience. Yeah. Totally. Every little thing, from how the store smelled to how attentive the staff were, it all added to this feeling of, this is luxury. And, yeah. you know, the product, so it was almost like it came second to the feeling you got. Yeah. Luxury was like this escape this total sensory thing. Right, and that's what makes this whole shift so fascinating. It's not that today's shoppers don't care about that experience. They totally do. It's just the experience they're looking for. It's different. You got it. And this article, it really points to millennials, Gen Z, as the ones driving this whole new luxury thing. New luxury, I like that. Yeah. It has a nice ring to it. Right, and it's interesting. They want what they want, and they want it now. That immediacy, exclusivity, something truly unique. It's more than just, here's a product, buy it. It's about for, belonging, being in the loop. Okay, so for those of us who haven't quite caught up, what exactly makes this new luxury so new? Break it down for us. Well, think about it. This generation, yeah. they grew up in a world where information, everything, really, is instant. Yeah. They expect it. Makes sense. But how does that play out when we're talking high-end fashion, accessories, that world? One word, drops. Drops. Okay, yeah. We've heard the word, but when you say with luxury, it's kind of strange, yes, right? Yes, it's funny, isn't it? Like luxury used to be about things that lasted, you know, heritage, tradition, all that. It's true. But then again, scarcity, that limited access, that's always been part of luxury too. I guess drop culture just takes it up a notch. Social media plays a huge part in this whole what's next mentality. So what's a luxury drop actually look like? We talking like sneakerheads camping out for days? Oh, no, no, no. It's not quite that intense, but there is that urgency. I bet. Okay. Imagine this. A big name brand, they give you a little hint about a new product, a new collection. Could be a cryptic Instagram post, maybe a countdown clock on their site. I've seen that. Gets you every time. Right. They might release a couple of pictures, just enough to drive you crazy. Mm -hmm. But the details, they're top secret. Oh, they know what they're doing. Creating that buzz that I got to see this feeling. Exactly. And then, bam, the drop. Could be any time, day or night, and they're only a handful of whatever it is. So suddenly, everybody and their mother is on the app, on the website, trying to snag one before they're gone. It's like that velvet rope outside a club, only digital. Everyone wants to be in the know, part of that exclusive group. And the brands are using that. Clever. But what about the brands that aren't really about trends? You know, the ones known for classic designs, that heritage we were talking about. How are they fitting in? That's the challenge, isn't it? Staying true to their roots while appealing to this new crowd of luxury buyers? Not easy. But there are some brands that are killing it. The article mentioned augmented reality experiences right in their stores. AR. Wow, that's next level. I've seen it with makeup, furniture, but luxury fashion. Now you've got my attention. Tell me more. Right. I mean, how cool is that? You could be, like, at home trying on a diamond necklace worth millions, seeing how it looks, you know, without having to actually, like, go anywhere. That's the future right there, that perfect blend of the old and the new. Totally. And it's more than just AR. Some brands are using social media to create these like online communities. Mm -hmm. It's not just advertising. It's about, you know, exclusive content, live streams with designers, behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, it's giving you a peek behind the curtain. Exactly. And it works. People want to feel like they're in the know. So it's less about buying a product and more about like building a relationship. Exactly. Meeting these new luxury consumers where they are. Yeah. Online, engaged wanting to belong. This is really making me rethink luxury, you know? It's not just about, like, flashing a logo anymore. It's a good question, isn't it? What does luxury even mean these days? When everything's moving so fast, trends are here one minute and gone the next. What does it really mean to own something luxurious? Is it about finding those timeless pieces? Or is it about being part of the in-crowd, chasing the next big thing? That's the thing. It can be both. You know, it's not an either situation anymore. Luxury is so much more... I don't know, personal than it used to be. It's about finding the brands, the experiences that really speak to you. So if you're listening, I want you to think about that. 
What does luxury mean to you? What makes you feel like you're experiencing something truly special, something luxurious? Keep those questions in mind. And remember, this might be the end of this deep dive, but it doesn't have to end here. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and you might be surprised at what you find in the world of luxury.